Caputo brings us something. It's in my house. It's in my dad's house. It's mm -hmm. in my best friend's house. It's in her cabin as well. It is a pest repeller, and I know that ain't sexy, but you know what? If you have rats, if you have mice, if you have spiders, if you have um, roaches, roaches, yeah. roaches, for heaven's sake, if you have ants, that's why my dad got them, for ants, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that thing worked on the ants where he had tried everything else. I'd go to sit at the kitchen counter, he had those little traps out, oh, yeah. you know, yep. for the ants. We got these completely gone. This mm -hmm. is what it works for, okay? Ants, spiders, roaches, mice, rats, and it works without making a sound. That's right. It works with no, like, poison, nothing. Well, here's the funny thing. It makes a sound, we just can't hear it. We can't, that's exactly <laughs> you know what I mean? right. So it uses ultrasonic sound waves to repel the pests. These are essentially tiny little speakers. When you plug them in, the ultrasonic sound waves come out. Now, even though we can't hear them and your dogs and cats can't, these guys can. So the rats, the mice, the ants, the roaches, the spiders, they want to get out of the area. People always ask me, what does it sound like to them? I go, I don't know, but here's the thing. If you've ever walked into your house and accidentally set off your um, alarm system, mm -hmm. okay, or, or like that thing that Lori just had, Right. Wow, that was loud. It okay. Is loud. So if you have an alarm going off like that, you can only stand it for so long. You know what I mean? Like you'll, if you can't remember your code and you try to press it in to turn off your alarm, you'll stand there for a few seconds. You're like, all right, I got to get out. That's what it's like for the pest. The sound is just so annoying and, and just, mm -hmm. you know, jarring to them that they just want to get out of the area. But remember, you can't hear it. Now, here's the neat thing. There are eight um, units in this set right now, okay? Yeah. That's enough to do at least one floor of the average size house, maybe mm -hmm. two floors, depending on how big your house is. And you do want to put one in every room, Alice. Every one single room. One in every single room. Yes. I have one in every, and I Me live too. in a condo. I, I don't care, you yeah. know? Roaches, You're not immune. Roaches can climb 17 yeah, floors. Very well they can. Did you see that viral video yesterday? No. The Philippine president is, was speaking. Yes. And a giant roach crawled up his arm. You gotta Google that, I'm telling you. You'll never sleep again if that it happens. It was Let me tell you horrible. What. Somebody got up and brushed it off of it. It was crazy. Ugh. They, they could have used these, okay? Yeah. Because they could have used these. He would have been given a speech, no problem. But nobody would have heard a thing. Mm -hmm. $36.95, you get eight of these, two flex payments. I'm telling you, the things work so beautifully. They do. I, I had a sample of, of something similar to this. And I had tried, I had mice. If you have mice, if you've heard that They're little, tough. It is horrible. Yeah. I tried the, the humane way to catch and release. Yep. I did yep. the catch and release. And that they came back. For a couple. Yeah, and then I tried the snap trap. You hear that trap go off. Oh, it's horrible. Off. It's so awful. Well, it's funny you say that, though, because so think about what these cost for eight, and then think about what you spend on stuff like this. And, you know, and this is the thing, right. okay? So... By the time you go out and you buy sprays and, and poisons and traps and things like that, you've already got an infestation. It's it's already it's, happened. That, so you're reacting to a infestation. Yeah, infestation. You're reacting to a situation. So if you have ants, you can spend a lot of money. But the big mm -hmm. problem with all of the stuff that you're gonna buy is that when it wears off, they come back. When you run out of it, you've got to buy more. So you're in this vicious cycle of having to do it. And the thing is, you can't just stop at just buying stuff for ants. Because let's say then, you know, you get rid of your ants and you get roaches. Now you got to buy roach stuff. That's and you're going to spend a ton of money buying roach stuff. Okay? And the same stuff applies. It runs out. You buy more. You it's know, it wears off. Poison. They come back. It's pure. It's straight up poison. Okay? And then, oh, forget about your situation with mice. If you got rats and you got mice, we got more ways to kill them. And all of them are horrible and all of them are dangerous yeah. and some of them can even affect horrible. your kids and pets because that's all poison, that green stuff down there at the bottom. Um, you know, and then of course the classic trap. Nobody wants to deal with this stuff. You know, you don't want to have to bait the traps. You don't want to have to clear the bodies when, they, when you know, after they're, um, they, they've been caught in the trap. You don't want to yeah. do any and of that. Maybe they're, maybe they're dead. Maybe, oh, maybe they're not. I'm and that's the thing. You, it was one of the hardest times of my life trying to deal, oh. trying to get rid of those. It's, if you've never had to do it before, it's horrible. Mm. If you just get these Bell and Hell pest repellers right now, okay, if you buy them right now, they're going to take care of the rats, the mice, the ants, the roaches, and one thing that there's nothing for in this table Spiders. I, I don't. These also repel spiders. And I, that's a big deal. I, I had, I, when I owned a house, I had a whole pest control service. Oh, yeah. And I had me a too. bunch of spider webs over my pool, so I had them come out. And he looked at me and he goes, Oh, you didn't tell me it was spiders. And I said, Yeah. yeah. Why? <laughs> he goes, Because we don't have anything for spiders. Nope. He said, uh, Do you have a broom? 
Yeah, like, seriously. Thanks for nothing. That's the big solution. Right, that or tint the whole house for. and fill it with poison. I mean, right. that's about all they get. Yeah. So I used to pay $45 a month to have the barrier pest protection done. Mm -hmm. You know, where they just come out and they walk around your house and they put this stuff. And in theory, what it's supposed to do is it stops things from crossing the barrier. And if it does cross the barrier, they die, okay? Here's the problem. If they get under the barrier, like through your foundation or up through your toilets, which is what the roaches love to do, or in my case, a rat or a mouse drops from a tree onto your roof oh. and then finds the tiniest little opening to get in your house, they can cause a ton of damage. And then they're trapped in the house. Mm -hmm. So this is the problem. That's why you wanna have these pest repellers indoors because they're totally silent. Totally. There's nothing you ever have to do. There's nothing to replace. There's nothing to clean. You just sit there and just relax. You don't have to worry about things. And you know what these are really great for? If you have a rental property, if you have a second home, maybe a weekend place that you go to, these are fantastic. So tell us how to, to install. I, I, I don't want to say install. Tell us how to plug them in. Yeah. <laughs> Where, where do you put them? Well, the easiest thing to do is put them out in the open. So you want to have them on a wall where they're going to get a lot of exposure. Right, so not behind a piece of furniture. Right, no. Never okay. behind a piece of furniture. Uh, you don't ever want to do that because if you put it behind a piece of furniture, it's going to muffle it. Think of it this way. These are essentially tiny little speakers, okay? So the sound waves are coming out of them and they're echoing off of every solid surface in the room, okay? So... It's going to come back and forth. It's going to echo back and forth. It's going to create what I call the force field. Right. All right. So you don't want to put them behind something. Because if you do, imagine if you took a pillow or something and put it on top of a, a stereo speaker. Yeah, that's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same thing. So that's why a lot of people will say to me, well, mine's not working. I'll say, well, where do you have it? Well, it's behind my sofa. Well, okay, that's the first problem. The second problem is give it like three days to a week. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is because Anyone could put up with something for a short period of time. Like, we can put up with Tom Wise for a little while. Who is coming up? Who is coming up in a few minutes with this fabulous product, The Water Light. Anyway, but we could put up with something for a little while. But after a while, you're just like, okay, enough, all right? And that's exactly what happens with the sound waves and with Tom. So, <laughs> sorry. You know what? Uh, we're simulcasting live on Facebook. So if you have any questions, you know, or, or comments, we'd love to share them. And Alicia on Facebook wanted oh. to know, she has them. Yes. And she loves them, but she wanted to know if they were um, okay behind curtains. You know what? That's a really great question. That's a great curtain. I never thought about that. So here's time. what my answer to that is going to be. If they're shears, yeah. it's probably okay. If they're big, heavy curtains, mm -hmm. like blackout curtains or something like that, then absolutely not. Probably not. Because, again, it's going to muffle that sound. But you know what? To me, these aren't ugly. These aren't obtrusive looking. They look Mine like it could be an air freshener or it could be like, you know, especially with the red flashing light on here. That, that By the way, that LED will flash when they emit an ultrasonic pulse. Um, with that, it could be a security device. You don't know. You know, so, so I think leave them out in the open. In my house, I've got one room that's like my living room, dining room. It's like everything. One big great room. Right. Okay. I have one for that entire space because it's on a wall that's exposed to the entire room. Now, if you have an L-shaped room, because I've had a couple people ask me about this, you know, where it's just a weird, like little alcove right. or something, maybe put one on either side of the room mm -hmm. just because, you know, the sound waves are going to be going forward, but they're not going to be getting down that little alcove. So you want to kind of well, cover everything. It's nice that we give you eight just so you yeah, can do the entire plenty. house. Yeah, yeah, you've got plenty to really hit every major room. And this is going to work so beautifully. I'm telling you, if you, if you have problems... Which, who doesn't? I mean, uh, everybody's got something, Or you right? will. I don't care if it's the roaches, the mm -hmm. ants, the spiders, rats, mice. I mean, you know what? I think some people don't want to admit they have, like, a problem. Like, yeah, I have mice. They don't. Nobody wants you, to. <laughs> you don't. No. Because you tell them, it's not my fault. You right. know what? They came in, and then you can't get them out. And if, like you said, if you see one, you will see, like, a hundred. It's true. It's crazy in there. So difficult to get rid of. Don't do the poisons. Don't do the traps. Don't None do of that. all that. Just make them go away. Yeah. That's, this is the beauty of the product. And once you buy it, you're finished. You don't have to keep buying anything else for right. one product for roaches, one product for the spiders, one product. None of it. But ants, I think, oh, so hard to get rid they're, of. They're almost impossible to get rid of. And, and you know what? You hit a, yeah. good, a great point before. People that live in high-rise buildings are not immune. No. You know, they use the, the, the uh, plumbing and the wiring and those things like a super highway to get back and forth. Um, same thing if you live in the country. We already know that. You've got, you know, wildlife all around you. Your house looks really good to them, especially in the wintertime and in the summer when it's raining. <laughs> they want to come indoors. So get prepared right now. Be, you know, 
proactive, not yeah. reactive. Right here. Yeah. This is perfect. A set of eight, $36.95. Uh, a great, great product. Read the reviews on them. I think that uh, you'll be super impressed when you get them home and plug them in. And I love that installation. Yeah, <gasps> super easy. Plug and play. That's it. Yep. Lou, thank you You're so very much. welcome. My great pleasure. to see you. You need to you Google. Too. Philippine president. I'm gonna do it. Roach. I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, you have to see that to believe it. The yeah. thing is like massive. It's he needs just, these. <laughs> yeah, kind of gives me like <laughs> the willies. Ah. Oh, but you know what? We have something that's gonna blow you away. Oh, oh, good transition. Not, not gonna like that one, huh?